I wanted to make a quick video in which I show you how best to use my custom button card templates. As always, please make sure you have button card by Wormwider installed. Today, we will look at one feature in particular, which is templates. We will look at how to set them up and how to use them. I created a pack on Gamut that contains all the cards you need to create your own custom dashboard. However, this of course works with any of my custom cards. Let's go through the process together. If you download one of my cards, it will look something like this. If we open one of these files, we can see the complete code. I am using Visual Studio code here, but you can use any text editor for this. Let's copy the code and add the card to Home Assistant. The easiest way is just to create a new button card and copy the whole code in. As you can see, now we can use the card and change everything to our liking. However, I can see how this much code for one card is almost a bit overwhelming. Luckily, there's a better way of doing this. We can define button cards templates directly in the YAML of the dashboard. In the starter pack, I prepared a YAML file for that. If we open it, we can see the structure. At the top, we define button card templates. Inside of it, we can name the different templates and add the code for each card. As you can see, I already added all the cards from the starter pack. Let's copy this code. Back in Home Assistant, we click on the three dots in the top right and choose Raw Configurations Editor. We have to paste our code in here, all the way at the top above Views. As you can see, Button Card Templates is first and Views comes after that. If we save now, nothing really changes. But now we can reference the templates if we add a new card. Let's do that. I will copy the card and delete everything but the type, entity and name. Instead of the whole configuration, we just have to add template, followed by the name of the template, in this case, Switch Template. As you can see, the two cards are exactly the same. The first one has a lot of code, but if we use the templates, it's way cleaner. We can also still change the button. If we have variables configured, which I have on most of my custom cards, we can change those to change the look of the card. With the switch template, we can change the icon and color, for example. We can still change all of the other attributes. For example, I can add styles, card and a height if I want this card to be bigger. This way, it makes it much easier, in my opinion, to add more cards of the same type. We only have to copy the card and change the entity, name and variables. No digging in a lot of code. One last thing I wanted to show you is a little trick we can do with templates. We can not only call templates in button cards, but in button card templates as well. For that I created a template called setup. In this setup template, I define the state unavailable to have a text decoration of line through and an alert icon. If we add this template to the switch template, we can see the new functionality. When we change the entity to something that is currently unavailable, we can see the new icon and text decoration. I think this is a super cool feature and with this setup it works across all your custom button templates, which makes them look more consistent. I hope you enjoyed the video and it makes it easier to use my custom button cards for your own dashboard. As I said, if you are interested in the full code for these cards, you can find the starter pack through the link in the description. I just started this YouTube channel, so if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos in which I create more custom cards, show off cool hugs cards and a tour of my personal dashboard. Thanks for watching!